Yes, uh, welcome to this lesson. Uh, in the previous lesson, we looked at the uh, determination of purity of a liquid substance. Now, in this lesson, we want to look at how to determine that a solid substance is pure. So, we are looking at determination of purity of a solid and in this experiment we shall look at naphthalene, a solid called naphthalene. So to remind ourselves, in the introduction we say that for a substance, a solid substance to be said to be pure, it should have a constant melting point which is equals to the theoretical melting point which is in books. Now for naphthalene, naphthalene has a melting point of 8.2 degrees Celsius. That is pure naphthalene. Therefore, that means that if we carry out an experiment and the naphthalene we have gives us this melting point or melts at this temperature, 80.2, then we shall say that that naphthalene is it, pure naphthalene. Okay, so we have here uh, apparatus that we are going to use to determine the melting point of naphthalene that we have. So here, over here we have naphthalene and it is a solid as we shall see. Then we have here with this one which is called a spatula. Then we have, of course, a test tube rack, and we have here a boiling tube, okay? We are going to use the boiling, boiling tube, and we have a test tube holder. So we also have a thermometer, which is the digital thermometer, and we have the Bunsen burner, and the wire goes with a tripod stand, and then a beaker containing water. So what we are first going to do is to boil the water which is in the beaker to form what we call a water bath. So I'm going to turn on my Bunsen burner. So water is going to boil there. But now we have to prepare ourselves. We are going to put some naphthalene, solid naphthalene, into this boiling tube. So I'm going to put some naphthalene using this spatula into the boiling tube. So, if you look at this, this is a solid and that is naphthalene. Look at its color. Okay? So I'm going to put the solid naphthalene there. I'm going to put quite enough. Okay, so here we have our solid naphthalene in the boiling tube. And so I'm going to dip inside there the thermometer. I'm going to dip the thermometer inside it there, making sure that it doesn't touch the bottom like that. Okay, then I will hold it using a, a test tube holder. Like that. Then I will now dip it inside the boiling, inside the boiling water. And we shall wait until the naphthalene inside there starts to melt. Immediately it starts to melt, we are going to note the temperature. 
at which it is melting. So you should observe if the naphthalene starts melting inside there, then you note the temperature. So our focus should be on the temperature and the naphthalene inside the, the boiling tube. So remember we are using a water bath. Why are we using a water bath? Because we want the naphthalene to melt gently. We don't want it to melt abruptly. So the water bath will heat the naphthalene only gently. Make sure that you notice carefully at what point it starts it just starts melting and not the temperature. So, uh, as the naphthalene started melting, no, I think it has not started melting, so we have to keep waiting, keep patient. And naphthalene is an organic compound which may be uh, new to you but we are using it because it is also a solid so when it starts melting we know that its melting point is that temperature so what happens is the heat which is going to boil the water is the heat which will be transferred to the naphthalene which is in the boiling tube and it will heat the naphthalene and then it starts to melt you notice that on the temperature rather on the thermometer the temperature is rising So the temperature continues rising because the water is continuously being heated, being supplied with heat. And the thermometer records that rise in temperature. So this digital thermometer that we are using is not very common, you may find it only in our school. So you better call someone to, to join us also. So has the naphthalene started melting yet? Has it started melting? Not yet. Let's keep on waiting. But you notice that it is almost going to melt. So you should now be careful and note the temperature. Ah, so the naphthalene has 
the naphthalene has already started to melt. You see that? So that is the point, the melting point of naphthalene. So the, the melting point of naphthalene is 82, rather it is 80.2. And we realized that when it is started melting, the temperature was 80.2. Meaning that this that we have here is pure naphthalene. You can see that it has now changed from solid to liquid, although some of it has not yet changed. Okay? So, that is how we determine uh, whether a, a solid substance is pure or not. And what we do is simply determining its melting point. If its melting point is that one which is already determined, which is already known, and it is fixed.